Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, Dylan here. We have a bombshell of a video today from Matt Gates. all right? He just revealed the truth about everything going on, especially with the FBI. He just absolutely exposed the FBI in Congress, so I wanna share that with you all. So please, thumbs up the video. Make sure you subscribe down below because Matt Gates is teaming up with Donald J. Trump to get the truth out there. So before we do dive in, we are going to pray and we are going to read the Bible because God comes first, amen? Comment amen down below if you believe that God comes first, all right? I think we need to turn to God more than ever before right now because with everything going on, with Donald John Trump literally almost getting assassinated, Joe Biden stepping down, they're now talking about Michelle Obama, uh, uh, Kamala Harris of all people, Gavin Newsom. I think we need to trust in the Lord right now, amen? All right, let's read this Bible reading and then let's jump in. This comes from the book of Philippians. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Amen. Comment amen down below. Let's ask God for his peace to guard our hearts and our minds in the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray to Jesus. Let's allow him to cast all our worries away and surrender to him. And let's God, let God's will be done with everything. Because I don't think any of us, if our, if we were in control, we would let Donald Trump get shot, but God did, and I think we could all see why, because people are now turning and waking up to the reality of this situation we're in, and dare I say, maybe the world needed to realize that Trump is tenacious, that he's a fighter, that he does not give up. He's a true leader, right? Okay, let's get started with Matt Gates. All right, so here is Matt Gates absolutely grilling the FBI's uh, lead uh, uh, director, Christopher Ray. This is massive news and basically talking about how the FBI is dealing with the current Biden administration and especially as it pertains to how the FBI is operating. So let's tune in. Gentlemen, you back. Gentleman from Florida is recognized. Was the shooter on the FBI's radar in any way prior to the assassination attempt? We did not have any information uh, about the shooter. He was not in our holdings um, before the shooting. No communication in any chat rooms, no CIs or confidential human sources have any interaction? No, we've run a, a thorough search uh, for the, the subject through all of our holdings and, and he was not in them anywhere. Were there any FBI agents or informants present at the Trump rally in Butler? Not to my knowledge. But what, weren't people aware of the shooter hours before? Was Didn't somebody see the shooter walking around before? Wasn't, there, wasn't he flying a drone hours before the shooting happened? And weren't people taking video footage of the shooter walking around and even climbing up onto the roof? So you're telling me that normal everyday civilians are more aware of what's going on at a Trump rally security wise than the FBI, Christopher Ray. We already know that the director of the Secret Service, Cheadle, resigned. Maybe it's your turn too, Christopher Ray. Uh, and Mr. Jordan was talking to you about Iran. Were law enforcement resources diverted from the protection of President Trump to John Bolton as a consequence of concern that Mr. Bolton might have been the target of, of Iranian uh, malign efforts? 
Uh, that's really a Secret Service decision. I don't, I don't know the answer to that. Uh, that's really something they would know better. What I can tell you is this just goes to show how unorganized the FBI and Secret Service are. They don't even know. They just lobbying questions back and forth. Oh, that you should ask the Secret Service that one. It's like you guys should both be aware of these things. So that um, there are a number of individuals. You mentioned one who we've brought a case. Uh, a specific criminal case for the Iranians targeting for assassination, but how the are you going to are you going to get that answer to us? Whether or not I'm resources sorry. were diverted from Trump to Bolton, is that just going to be part of your review? Uh, I think that's going to be part of the reviews by the inspector, the, the inspector general, the inspector general of DHS, right? Of DHS right. and, and the and, and, and the I, outside panel. And I think that's an important point because the inspector general for DHS has really fallen out of favor with the administration because he's been pointing out all the problems on the border with Mayorkas and Biden and. We're always kind of worried that they're about to fire him, which would be a really bad idea now that this role that you've identified is, is so critical. Be, be a bad idea to fire the IG for DHS during the pendency of this, right, Mr. Director? I don't think that would be a good idea. I'm and the former DHS chairman, what was his name? Benny G. Thompson. You guys know this guy? He used to literally be the uh, c chair of the Committee on Homeland Security. This is the same guy who advocated for Trump to be removed of his Secret Service privileges. I mean, this is a complete joke. I'm with you on that. So I want to zoom out a little bit. How often do you brief President Biden? Uh, you mean on this no, just general, case? No, in your role as FBI director. I mean, I, I don't know that I could give you a number. I've, is it like weekly, monthly, daily? It's It's not... It's not at a regular cadence. There have been times when there have been months at a time when I haven't, and then there have been times when several days apart I have. Uh, it's always with other people. Uh, the vice know. president, is she typically there? Uh, often has been. Okay, so, so when did you notice his decline? Uh, I, in my interactions, in my role, uh, all my interactions with the current president have been completely professional. Right, but I mean his the cognitive decline. I don't say he treated you unprofessionally, just maybe not picking things up as quickly as he used to. Again, I, I don't meet with him very often, uh, but what you're describing is not something that I've observed during my interactions with him. I mean, we've, we've, we've had it observed so often that the ranking member and Mr. Schiff on this committee have said that he could no longer continue as a candidate. And so, since you're the FBI director, I was just sort of wondering, like, who's running the country? Oh my gosh, I love that, Gates. Like if something, if something, yeah, so if, if something bad happened, you'd have to go brief President Biden about it right now? God forbid. And, and I, on any number of occasions, I have briefed the President, and as I said, those briefings have all been uneventful and unremarkable. Oh, I, I, I can imagine them being uneventful. Um, <laughs> Wow, Matt Gates is literally exposing the FBI and Joe Biden, guys. I think people are finally waking up and being like, we need a true leader in the White House. And I think a lot of people are realizing that that man is not Joe Biden. That woman, that person is not Kamala Harris, but that man is goes by the name of Donald John Trump. He, but but in, in the work where the vice president's also present, like you say there's like more than half the time there's these briefings she's there too i don't know if i said more than half the time certainly there have been times where she's been present there have been other times where she hasn't i take you at your word when you say this is the most complicated threat environment you've ever observed over a long career in law enforcement and i'm just kind of wondering with this assassination attempt with the invasion at our border with all the hamas that have been let in that you've talked about and briefed about like, is Biden up to it? And if he's not up to it, and you're a guy who's been regularly briefing him, like, who, who's been in on this conspiracy to hide the real Joe Biden from all of us for years? It, it never occurred to you that this guy wasn't up to it in all these briefings he did? As I said, my briefings with the president have all been completely fine. Uh, were they between I've briefed, 10 a.m. and he's 4 asked questions. There hasn't been anything of note in the area that you're talking about. Yeah, did, did you ever have to brief him before 10 a.m. or after 4 p.m.? We hear those are his good hours. <laughs> wow. Wow. 
I can't, I certainly times that I have briefed have included outside those hours. Right. Okay. I just, you know, I, I think the American people want to know how we got to this point. We do. We do, Matt Gates. And thank you for actually being a man in Congress who's not afraid to ask these questions, expose the truth. Someone who's very, so diminished his own party has basically put him out to pasture. And since you had close proximity and the vice president had close proximity, I'm just kind of wondering if, uh, if you were being straight with all of us about how things were going with him, I guess we'll have to figure that you out. You can count on me to be straight with you, sir. Uh, we'll see. You know, my question, my follow-up question would be, well, what about the next four, five, six months while Joe Biden's still president for the next six months? Is he fit to actually, you know, if we do have a major security threat, is Joe Biden really fit for the, over the next six months to work with the FBI to tackle those threats. You know what I mean? That would be my follow-up question. Or, God forbid, if uh, Joe Biden resigns and God forbid we get Kamala Harris, is she even fit? Or is she just gonna be laughing it off? Oh, ha, 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 ha. oh there's a nuclear threat. Ha, 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 ha. I mean, that woman is sick. She's absolutely sick. Now let's tune in to Matt Gates at the RNC. Trump is unstoppable. Elect him president again, and America will be unstoppable too. Meanwhile, Joe Biden's been out of it. Democrats have been hiding the real Biden for years. We saw people in the witness protection program more often than we saw unscripted Biden. Under Biden-Harris, America has fallen sicker, lonelier, and poorer. Under Trump, we prospered we were richer inflation was low and there were two genders <laughs> so random under biden harris inflation has gotten so bad you can no longer bribe democrat senators with cash alone you have to use gold bars just so the bribes hold value The swamp draining will recommence soon, and I will be President Trump's strongest ally in Congress to pass term limits, to stop taxpayer funding. Term limits? Are we talking about Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schubert and Mitch McConnell? Oh, 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 they're in for a treat, guys. Political campaigns to ban members of Congress for life from becoming lobbyists, and for the same reason, you don't let the referee bet on the game, ban members of Congress from trading individual stocks. He's really going after Nancy Pelosi in this. Term limits and banning from trading. Oh, Nancy Pelosi does not like Matt Gates. I can guarantee you that. I am proud to stand before you, the only Republican in Congress who takes no lobbyist money, no PAC money. It's not good for me. I work for you, not them. That's an American leader I want leading us. President Trump, he'll never defund our police, but he will defund foreign aid to countries that hate us. And President Trump understands that if it isn't racist, to check ID for a hunting license or welfare benefits or a fishing license, then it is okay to demand an ID to vote everywhere in this country and every election that's held. A Democrat congressman recently said that any criticism of Joe Biden is ableist. Huh? It's too much what does ableist mean? To ask that the American president be able to do the job. Kamala Harris isn't able to do any job. She was appointed border czar. Appointing Kamala Harris to oversee the border is like appointing Bernie Madoff to oversee your retirement plan. I don't even know who Bernie Madoff is, guys. I'm sorry, I don't get that one. These jokes are flying over my head today. President Trump has shown the world what he is made of, and now we will show the world what America is made of by having his back. And how about the choice President Trump made for a running mate? JD, JD. 
J.D. looks like a young Abraham Lincoln, but he's from Ohio, like General Grant. And like General Grant, J.D. Vance knows how to fight. USA, USA. So can run, Biden from the nursing home, Harris, George Clooney, Robert De Niro, whoever they want to run. We are on a mission to rescue and save this country. And we ride or die with Donald John Trump to the end. Thank you all so much. Hallelujah. Let's go get him. Whoa. Matt Gates coming out strong. This man does not mess around. Holy moly. I love, look at him walk out there. He goes, I'm proud to be an American. Where at least I know I'm free. I'm more gladly stand up next to you. Everyone chanting USA, guys. Donald Trump. Wow, what a powerhouse. Uh, this is Matt Gates actually confronting and interrupting Kevin McCarthy during an interview with CNN. You guys do not want to miss this. You yourself were the victim kind of of the Republican Party, at least on Capitol Hill, being fractured in the House. I mean, what does that look like uh, going into the next four months? Oh, we're much more united. I mean, think about that. That was all the Democrats and eight Republicans. Okay, One who's not coming speak? back, what, and then speak? and then the other Are part you that you have. Tonight? And the other part you have is one person who raised no. the issue. He's got an ethics complaint about paying, hey, sleeping with a 17-year-old. That so that's the way they would go. So th you, he just said, what time are you speaking? If you took that stage, you would get booed off. <laughs> Matt Gates does not hold back, guys. That's, that's the biggest challenge we have. Thank you so much, Mr. McCarthy. Thank right. you for coming Appreciate over. Appreciate you. Um, you yourself were the victim... <laughs> Matt Gates is insane. Holy moly, this is Kevin McCarthy. I don't know if you guys remember this. Confronting Matt Gates. They these guys do not like each other at all. What do you guys think about Kevin McCarthy? I remember he wore a Ukraine pin. Uh he wore a Ukraine pin. Here's Matt Gates and Kevin McCarthy together. He's trying to get Matt Gates's vote. And Matt Gates is not backing down. He's like, dude, I do not want to vote for you, buddy. This is a fiery moment. But look at Matt Gates. You can tell a lot by body language here. Kevin McCarthy looks very scared. And Matt Gates looks fierce. And he's not backing down at all. I love Matt Gates, guys. I love him. Look at him. He's like, look, this is for America. This is not for your lobbyists. We don't care about your lobbyists, brother. Basically, Matt Gates. I have, obviously we don't know what he's saying, but I'm assuming he goes, your lobbyists can go suck. <laughs> Maybe, basically, your lobbyists can go kick rocks. Um, so. So yeah, now let's tune in. This is what Congressman Matt Gates actually shared after, I believe it was right after Trump, the assassination, the attempted assassination of Trump. He said praying for Trump. So maybe he is Christian, guys. Just a few hours ago, we caught up with Congressman Matt Gates. He was in Northwest Florida for today's Blue Angels air show when the news broke about former President Trump. This is deeply jarring. Donald Trump is not just the leader of a political movement that I'm a member of is my personal friend and uh, we are praying for him. I've texted uh, my friend, the former president. I've called him. I've talked to some members of this campaign team. They say he's fine, but that he is uh, quite animated about this event and I can understand why. It was just days ago I was speaking with President Trump and in almost jest I said they've tried to impeach you. They've tried to convict you. They tried to imprison you. The only thing they can do now is to try to assassinate you. And we've now witnessed that in the United States of America. I think a lot of people actually predicted that attempted assassination. I know it's sad to see, but it even Tucker Carlson came out and said, look, that's the only next step that we're kind of heading towards because of all that language, all that crazy language. I mean, even Joe Biden said the word bullseye when talking about he's like we need a i i don't want to misquote him because i don't want to get in trouble for misquoting but he was talking about trump i think he said we need to get him in the bullseye i don't 
We always know Joe Biden miss uses incorrect grammar anyways, so if I use correct grammar, I'm probably going to be misquoting Biden, but he ended up, he said the word bullseye when talking about Trump. For the first time in about half a century, and uh, it is not something we ever want to see in our politics, and I hope that this is so thoroughly condemned and rejected that we never have to experience this as a country again. The congressman calling on all Americans to unify and not be violent about our politics. But yeah, I mean, we even saw very similar uh, things. I don't know if you guys saw, but Melania Trump, she issued a really, really nice statement. Um, oh, may your experience reading my book be as enjoyable as the writing process for me? Melania's... Mel no way, guys. Melania Trump... Sorry, we're going to read her statement in a second. Melania Trump's issuing a book... How much is it? 150, oh, 40 bucks for the memoir. Signed memoir. I can get a signed Melania Trump book for 75 bucks. I'm probably gonna do that. Um, Melania is the powerful, inspiring story of a woman who has defined personal excellence, overcome adversity, and carved her own path. The former first lady invites readers into her world, offering an intimate portrait of a woman who has lived an extraordinary life. Guys, this is amazing. I'm definitely gonna be buying this book. How much, when does it actually arrive? A signed memoir? I think I want to get the signed one. 12 to 16 weeks. Oh, gosh. I mean, hey, three to four months. That'll become uh, pretty soon. Right around the time of the election. That's pretty interesting. But anyways, yeah, we saw Melania Trump says, uh, we are all humans and fundamentally, instinctively, we want to help one another. American politics are, the, are only one vehicle that can uplift our communities. Love, compassion, kindness, and empathy are necessities. She really says that, you know, let us remember that when the time comes to look beyond the left and the right, beyond the red and the blue, we all come from families with the passion to fight for a better life together while we are here in this earthly realm. She goes, let us reunite now. So even Melania Trump, you know, she's saying too, let's reunite and let's actually, you know, come together. Now, this is um, Donald Trump talking about Matt Gates. Let's tune in. Oh, wait a minute. We have a big celebrity here tonight. We, and I'll tell you something. He's great and he loves his state. Congressman Matt Gates. Where the hell is Matt Gates? Where the hell is he? You gotta love Trump, guys. Hello, Matt. That's pretty good, Matt. And much more importantly, Ginger, his wife, Ginger, his great wife. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ginger. Awesome. So okay. Donald Trump, you know, what we saw earlier with Matt Gates in Congress, he's really, you know, supporting Donald John Trump right now. And what we saw in his RNC speech, if Donald Trump does have a victory, like Matt Gates is going to be playing a major role along with Mike Johnson and Jim Jordan in Congress to actually, you know, make sure that Congress is doing a good job while Trump would be, I don't want to assume Trump's going to win, but I'm going to hope that he wins. If Trump does end up back in the White House, having Matt Gates, Mike Johnson, Jim Jordan in Congress in the House of Representatives, that's a huge uh, dynamic that we're going to see them working together a lot to get the truth out there, right? Even Matt Gates. Uh, you know, he, he was at a rally. This is, uh, I believe it was a Save America rally. And he actually nominated, well, I'll, I'll, I'll let you watch this. And see you in the White House one more time. Thank you, Mr. President. This is at a Trump rally. And see you in the White House one more time. Thank you, Mr. President. That's Vernon Jones. I haven't seen Vernon in a while. There is no greater country than America. There is no than Donald J. Trump. You gotta love Matt Gates. We need this type of energy, my friends. We don't need Nancy Pelosi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hate Trump. He sucks. <laughs> this is an American. Matt Gates, buddy. And if you don't mind me saying so, there is not a better member of Congress than Marjorie Taylor Greene. <laughs> I forgot about Marjorie. We cannot forget her. She's a powerful woman. Give us the ability to fire Nancy Pelosi, take back the majority, <laughs> impeach.
impeach Joe Biden, and I'm going to nominate Donald Trump for Speaker of the United States House. <laughs> he wanted to nominate. Oh, he did nominate Trump for Speaker. I remember that. They they have a cool relationship. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> I want to also mention while we're here, candidate for Georgia. You gotta love Matt Gates. He's he's one guy who's he's not afraid. He's not afraid to speak out for Donald John Trump. Let's tune in to him and Marjorie Taylor Green. This is not their fault. This is not their fault, and they shouldn't feel a failure. They have done a beautiful job. Every single one of our military members and veterans, they, they're, they're fantastic. They're the greatest in our country. And we I, want them to know that this is not their fault. I love Marjorie Taylor Greene. And I do like how they have a very tight dynamic because they want to help save our country. So let me know your thoughts down below. Take care. God bless, guys.